Let's back, go back to Let's Play Hazel. Well, first of all, I want to see... Yes, it's true. Okay, they've got a plain animation for Hazel. I was thinking, guys, instead of, you know, going through the boss rush with Hazel, let's actually go through a regular level, but one of the ones that was uh, more difficult and see if there's any changes. And I kind of forgot this entire level is uh, with Hazel in a plane, so... Oh, man, I am getting beaten up all over the place, but thank goodness there's life power-up still. Oh, I can't get through that! Oh, no! Okay, I thought I could get through a one-block gap in the plane, but apparently I was wrong, and now I'm... There's bullets everywhere, and it's, it's getting incredibly difficult to actually survive. Okay, I'm gonna have to fight the piranhas with one life? I'm pretty doomed. Uh, oh, well, at least there's still the generic two hearts at the start of this, but, yeah. Okay, <laughs> so far not very good with Hazel. Um, it's exactly, it's pretty much exactly the same as it is with Waluigi, only, uh, <laughs> I've gotten really, really cocky about how the fact that she's got that eye fly with her, so she's normally really fast. Um, I like how that she's got a plane animation, so that much is very true. On the negative side, I have taken a ton of damage. Do you think I'm actually going to be able to survive this piranha boss without dying? Yikes. But come to think of it, if I do play the boss rush next, this is a pretty good test, because the other time when I was doing the boss rush, I fought uh, Iris a couple times just to get myself a refresher course. Oh my gosh, the controls on this plane are very difficult. If you guys ever play this level like I'm playing it now, I- Oh my gosh, I'm so glad I didn't take a hit there. Uh, just, just try this part, okay? This has to be one of those. This has to be like the difficult boss in this game. Like, you know, the ups and the downs. The, the ups and the downs with the plane are hard enough because the left and the right is the only way they move. So it, it's the mobility that's the hard part with this boss. Not to mention this, uh, everything kills you aspect. And there we go. We beat the boss. We got one life because I'm Hazel and I'm amazing. Alright, so let's grab us some hearts if we can somewhere, uh, hmm, where are there hearts in this section? Uh, right up here actually, let's fly over the gap. I know it's gonna be very small, but let's pull off a hazel and, um, and fly right through here if we can, or not, whatever, doesn't matter, I'll do that on the return because I already know how this level goes. You grab a bomb, you jump backwards, you throw it up, and boom! I don't know if there's an enemy up there, but we'll blow him up with that bomb too. Grab our gold gem, yes, okay. Grab that bomb, toss it, I, I don't know, this lag in this, na I, I think it's natural born lag in this level, because the other levels aren't like this. But you know what, even if this game is laggy at some point, you know what, I thought it was all part of the game, like, I thought it was intentional. If it, ouch. Even if it's not intentional, it felt intentional, you know? And, like, Coral Forest was so laggy, but you know what? That was something you had to deal with. Or, I had to deal with anyway, and I did. And, uh, I can accept that it was different and strange. Slowdown is not a mechanic of choice I would, I would like to see, but... You know, at the same time, I suppose it's about the same thing as if, uh... As if it wasn't just a gravity mechanic. Okay, so now we're in this area, and I'm not sure if Hazel has any direct benefit over Waluigi in, in this place. Because again, the only differences that Hazel has over Waluigi right now is she's got that golden, uh, that strange eye fly with her, right? And she never loses it, so, uh, but it's not actually gliding or, or double jumping like Waluigi. I'm not really sure why that's there, to be honest, now that I think about it. But, um, she's got her jetpack, and that's pretty amazing. Uh, and she's also technically runs faster for some reason. So, I mean, the running faster bit makes everything feel really fast and speed run light, and sometimes it's all about... It's just all about the mindset. Okay, here we go. It's time to flow through here. I don't want to go get the gem over to the right because actually points don't matter. And I kind of honestly forgot that the boss of this level isn't actually a Hazel boss, so there wasn't exactly a point of playing this other than uh, experimenting how different it would be playing it with Hazel. And actually trying to see if she's in a plane or not. And yes, she's in a plane. And here we go. I love uh, this, this has to be one of the coolest parts. Even though this isn't a boss, the destroy the, uh, the, jet, the main generator aspect of this. It might be cliche, but I think it's great. 
It's it's, it's absolutely funny that uh, that this is the her logo is the same. That might be too high. Nope. Okay, we've broken the generator, and it's time to do this. So let's go for Hazel speed run time. Let's go through the pipe right now. Is there anything that uh, I really need to think about other than dodging bombs in the next area? Uh, not really. I think there's a heart in this box above me. Oh, well, thank goodness. <laughs> that guy up there to the right there was a pain even though I wasn't there. Okay, so get away from the bombs. Okay. All right, so flying up here is actually pretty nice. I can just choose to grab bombs. Is that going to knock the gem down? No, I should go grab that anyway. This was a lot more, uh, a lot more worrisome the first time I played through it, but now it's, it feels really casual. Like, look, I can fly up here as Hazel. My gosh, this is silly. Can I grab the hearts on the right-hand side this time? Uh, because I couldn't do that last time. Yes, I can. I don't know. I still haven't quite figured out if some of these levels are designed with Hazel in mind, because obviously there aren't any new levels, it's just replaying all the ones we've already done with Hazel. But let's watch this animation. Is she in the plane? Yes, she's in the plane. That's beautiful. Thank you, game. Because I thought you might have broken and we'd see Waluigi flying away, but it's those details that are like, oh man, you know, the programmers of this game thought of everything. Because anybody else who made this game might have thought, look at this, I can kill the king before he's even on screen, might have thought, oh, nobody's going to play this level as Hazel again. But nope, here I am. Ta-da! There we go. That was Dreadnought Kingdom. Why don't we go on next doing the boss rush as Hazel? Because that's ridiculous, and I feel ridiculous. So let's Play it out! <laughs> Alright, my score is pretty darn high for this. It really feels like a speed run. Let's see what's next. Alright guys, so it's what you might have been waiting for, the boss rush with Hazel. It looks exactly the same, except there's a giant X here. What is this? Oh, I suppose that's the Hazel robot. Is it because I wouldn't have iris beams? Okay, storyline. That's an interesting decision choice, but, uh, alright then. I guess we're going to fight, uh, the World 1 bosses, Hazel. Alright, so, um, you know what? I don't think this is gonna be any different than the other time that I did a boss rush. Let's just try spamming my attacks the entire way. Maybe I can beat this thing before it makes an entire way across. Uh, no, but I have knocked out half its health, so, uh, this is really strange. I'm Hazel. Fighting Hazel, I'm going to join you in the skies. Well, maybe not. All right, let's just. Well, if this is if this is my speed run character, then let's speed run the heck out of this. Come here, you. This is gonna be uh, a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, now I just need to fly over this and bop it on the head. No, nope, uh, bop it on the head. It's not working. There we go. All right. Apparently, this jetpack's actually kind of hard for trying to get on top of this thing, which is funny because with. Urgh. Yeah, which is funny because I could only play it without a jetpack last time, and now it's, it's making it more difficult for me to... Come on, get to the top of it! Ugh! Alright, okay, Hazel, you kinda suck for fighting this boss. Which, uh, well, at least I got away from that explosion. Hmm. I, I suppose every character has their strengths and weaknesses, right? What's Hazel's weakness, then? I, I don't know. What would I say? I guess... If her strength is maneuverability, maybe it's height, because I need to hold a button down a certain length of time to get high. And then, well, that came out a bit wrong. No, 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 I'm not talking about that. You see, look, I, I can't quite hover right in there. And what happened there was my vitality charm, which I've saved up since playing the Final Conquest version 1, uh, just went off. So apparently, yeah, you can use the vitality charm for this, which is kind of funny and maybe slightly broken, but you know what, maybe the shop does have a purpose then. Okay, so now I've actually got a really faster uh, swimming speed here. So what is my uh, what is my strategy for taking off the hazel uh, squid tank? Well, first of all, don't get caught in the top like that. Um, and when you get the laser, don't go down or you'll hit the other one. Um, if you can, I guess, hit it again very quickly. And then when it gets to this stage, half its health, it'll shoot out balls so fast, you might as well just spam the attack button. Uh, is, is my general strategy. I've got one life left, but I'm my Oh, no, it's this again. Well, we did this last time with one health, so uh, let's try to do it this time without taking any hits. No, 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 this is bad. This is very bad. Even when I practice this boss, this is has to be one of the harder ones in the game, just because maneuverability is right out the window, even when you're Waluigi, even when you're Hazel. Get down! Okay. Whew! 
Alright, throw it at the wall and it'll probably explode and deal damage anyway. Okay, now the key is it takes four rockets to hit that piranha down there. So if I'm in a good position to throw it, that's all I need to do. It takes about four hits, I think, to destroy this boss completely as opposed to the three of the last, uh, last couple, really. So just, you know... Throw it at the wall and you'll be good as long as you aim in the general direction. And now we are going right in here. Thankfully, Hazel can fly, so my main problem of getting these is right out of there. Can I grab it right away? Yes, somebody in the comments was saying, the way that the star flies out of this dragon's mouth is you can grab it immediately. And I'm not really sure if that's true or not, but I'm just going to stay down here. And I seem to have forgotten about uh, star length right here, but that's... That's okay, I died way too many times fighting this boss other times, and so, if I happen to die here again, you know what, it's not all that bad. Okay, this time I'm watching my star power, I'll get out in time to hit it out. Oh no, no, taking hits from this thing, okay. Now it's time for Hazel's maneuverability to shine, even though I've got one life left, I need to get that star. There, now let's just activate it and knock this boss out, I should still be able to kill it without dying. And there we go, perfect. All right, let's get rid of this star, grab a coin, and back through the door. I tell you, this is like speedrunning. I can talk. Speedrunning the boss challenge right here. Hazel versus giant hazel tank. It feels slightly out of place, you know, like I am fighting myself. And yet, what could be better than being... Okay, here it's basically the same as in the regular game, only I'm green instead of purple, right? Because... <sighs> oh, oh, your tactics don't change, I suppose, for most of these boss rush modes. The only thing is, you've got the added ability of possible fly. But the problem is, with the bosses, um, being able to fly in the water one does absolutely nothing. The faster speed might make you more maneuverable, though, so that's good. Uh, the nice thing with this boss is maybe I can, you know, knock it one, two, three, kind of ladder style, if I can shoot out at the same time that I deal damage. I've already broken the first one, so that's good. Uh, can I fly up there in time? Yes, I can. Good. Ah. But for that, the thwomp boss, the problem I'm seeing is it's the flying and the timing between when it has to hit the wall and not. It, oh. It was really hard. The maneuverability in this one is basically no advantage whatsoever since you can fly anyway. But that's fine, because really... Hazel Hazel can die a couple times in this. I just thought, you know what, let's do the best we can with this and see how she goes. And I've already taken hits from this tank. Alright, up in the back. Oh man, I thought I could get that before it went inside, but sometimes it's, it's not all cracked up to be, but that's okay. Hit this, hit this, and one, two, three, bam, perfect. I don't know if that's a very good strategy trying to go for the one, two, three punch because I forget how much health each of these has. I think the bottom one has three, and the other ones have two, maybe, something like that. When did I knock out the second one for it to fall back like that? But that's fine. Um, no, maybe they all have three, not come to think of it. Whatever, though, because there's it's exactly the same tactics we used when fighting this the first time, and yes, don't, try not to stay in the air the whole time, or just like that, you'll run out of fly at the wrong moment, and even if you're almost in the right vicinity, It'll just go back inside. Now, shooting the projectiles helps because then you don't die, and not dying is good. And if you hit them in succession like this, it, it just works. And then you can even get an extra hit in there, and then I'll take a hit here, but she's dead, so perfect, right? And now what happens? I guess we just skip uh, the, the robot altogether. So now I guess the real question is, does Hazel's jetpack give me any significant advantage over the Waluigi double jump? And my professional opinion right now is slightly. I hmm. It seems like Iris has more trouble like coming close to me. You know what I mean? Like in the bouncy bounce off the sides of the stage, it, she might have been more adept at hitting Waluigi than she is hitting Hazel. But right here, just the swimming part might as well be exactly the same. You know what's really funny though? The background music is Waluigi, and yet I'm Hazel, so this slightly feels out of place. I, 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 I've gotta maybe try the Final Conquest just to see if it's possible to play as Hazel. I mean, if it's not, I don't have a video of it, but if it is, or it's not, maybe this is the only way you can beat Iris as Hazel, because otherwise I'm inside Waluigi's mind right now? It, it doesn't make any sense for this to technically be in the game, does it? 
But, you know what? I don't know. It feels like a speedrun character, but you only get one special ability, which is flying, and it doesn't, it honestly doesn't have that much uh, difference to it, other than I'm slightly more maneuverable, so it feels different, but it's, it is all about feel. And I really have kind of gotten the hang of watching the background for this attack. If people hadn't have commented on my videos, I would have had no idea how to beat this thing. Oh, and I've already taken damage because I'm talking and I'm not realizing that we've already hit the snow stage where these colored lights hit me very easily. And I'm not quite sure, but I think the pattern is uh, Iris does one attack, then opens, and two attacks, and opens, and three attacks, and opens, and then four kind of thing. I think that's what's going on with this variety. And here we go with the water again. Alright, so we'll swim around here and... Yeah, don't get caught in a corner or that'll happen to you too, but... You know, technically I've already died and survived and then died again, so... Well, I don't know, it seems like a general thing, right? I mean, Hazel doesn't seem that much better than Waluigi, or uh, that much worse. But that's her playing boss rush, I guess, and I've, I've definitely beat it. And here I am in the chomp! Do I get a crown this time? No, I don't. That's too bad. Oh well. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me play as Hazel, because I certainly think it's a bit of a different kind of game. Ah, it, it's actually a lot of fun. Um, you know, why don't you guys leave me some messages? Do you want me to play any other levels as Hazel, or should we say the uh, Let's Play is done? <laughs> See you next time, either way.